welcome my name is Jocelyn and today I thought we would talk about new makeup something I haven't done on my channel for a hot minute I think it's been about a month since I filmed my most recent thoughts on drops video that's what I like to call it thoughts on drops thoughts on new makeup that kind of thing this series is definitely inspired by Samantha March's will I buy a series I mean I'm sure all of you know who that is if you're on this video because who doesn't know who Samantha March is nowadays so yes we are gonna be talking about new makeup there has been so much new makeup since the last time I filmed one of these because of the holidays and I thought we would try and catch up a little bit now this almost probably would be more like an anti-haul because your girl does not have money to be spending on a ton of makeup right now. But I'm still going to be talking about things that I would maybe like to have at some point. Just, you know, general thoughts on these new makeup drops. All right, so I have a lot of things saved on Instagram. I'm gonna be pulling just about everything from Trend Mood. So I will link Trend Mood's Instagram down below. And let's go ahead and just get started. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is something that's been out for quite a bit now, and that is the Huda Beauty Gemstone palettes. It looks like there's a total of five of them. Out of the five, there's the Sapphire, Amethyst, Ruby, topaz and emerald so out of those five i am very interested in i mean i'm interested in all of them they all i think were such a good idea because it feels like a lot of people in the community have been looking for palettes like this so palettes with the same color story and almost all the shades in there fit that color story. For example, the Norvina palette, when it had the purple packaging and stuff like that, people were very upset that there weren't more purples in that palette. With these, I just think they're a really good idea. And I personally have two of these palettes, the Obsessions palettes, not these ones specifically, but I have the Coral Obsessions and the Gemstone. The Coral one I've used and absolutely love. I raved about it recently. The other one I haven't played around with too much, enough to give my opinion on it, but if these are anything like that Coral Obsessions palette, I'm all for it. With these, the one that I'm super, super interested in is the green one, the Emerald palette. That looks beautiful, and I don't have a lot of green shades in my collection, so that one I'm super interested in. Originally, I was also interested in the Topaz one, the orange one, but I kind of feel like I probably already have a lot of those shades already in my collection because warm tones were such a big thing, well, in the last like year, two years. The blue one, of course, also looks beautiful but I don't know how much I would use that one. Purple always makes me very nervous because purples are really hard to formulate and a lot of times are very dry and hard to use, hard to blend. So I'd like to feel that one first, but I could potentially be interested in that one because I love purple shades. And then the ruby one, same kind of thing with the purple. It's kind of hard to formulate a good red shadow. And I haven't looked up too many reviews on these, but I'm definitely interested in the green one. I think these are, yes, these are $27, same as the other Obsessions palettes so definitely I think a good price. I will probably end up picking up at least the emerald one in the future not anytime soon but in the future. Let's move on to something else that's kind of old news and that is the Naked Cherry palette. Now I personally think this was a good launch for people who love the Naked line, for people who love Urban Decay. They don't have, I don't think, think a palette that is berry toned like this in their collection presently. And this is still, I think, a very popular color story. So I think it was definitely a smart launch. I know not everybody thinks that, totally fine. I think it was a very good launch and I think it looks beautiful. I currently am using the Naked Heat palette. I pulled that in to use for the month of October and I love that palette. I am very interested in this palette. I'm not gonna buy it anytime soon I don't think this might be something that I asked for for Christmas because I do think it would be fun to have this I really like the packaging these are my kinds of colors these are my favorite kind of colors is these berry tones so I personally love it I think it was a smart decision to come out with it I think the packaging is really pretty I've heard good things about the formula and again if it's anything like the naked heat formula very very nice and I think I mean I would assume this is the same price as all of the other naked palettes those are kind of my thoughts on this I do foresee myself picking this up eventually but as far as I know it's not limited edition it's going to be a permanent part of their line unless it's like you know the naked smoky where it didn't do so well so they pulled it but as far as I can tell this is permanent in their collection which means I have plenty of time to pick it up eventually 
sometime in the far future. Speaking of old news, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Gingerbread Palette by Too Faced. Now when I first saw this, I was like, oh my god, I want that. And then I kind of paired it against the Naked Cherry Palette and it just looks like a combination of things that I already have. And if I compared the two together, so if I paired the Naked Cherry against the Gingerbread Bread Palette, I just feel like the Naked Cherry would win out for me. And also the Gingerbread Palette, every time I, I think I would go to use it, it would just remind me of winter. And I don't really wanna use something that reminds me of winter in the middle of summer, so it doesn't feel like I would wanna use it all year round. Not that that's really a good argument, but I think this is, yes, this is a holiday release, so it is only available this holiday season. It looks beautiful, and I don't think it's a bad release. It does look like quite a few of their other palettes that they've come out with, so I don't know. It's just, at first it called to me quite a bit, but the more I've looked at it and just kind of let it settle in my mind, the more I've been like, mm, mm, maybe not. Maybe I don't need this. I don't blame anybody for wanting to get this. I think it looks like it could be a beautiful palette. If it performs like the other chocolate bar palettes, I think it's probably a good purchase. It's just not, not something that I feel like I want in my collection. All right, let's move on to another palette because those have been plentiful this holiday release season. And let's talk about the new Huda Beauty, another Huda Beauty palette. This is the Huda Beauty New Nude palette, $65. And personally, I think this looks gorgeous. Something I would probably love to have, but uh, I just... This is another one that I probably just don't need. And it's $65, that's a lot of money. I probably already have all of these shadows in a variety of palettes in my collection. The, the shimmer shades, as a lot of people have touched on, look super chunky, super challenging to work with, but when you see them swatched, they don't look the same. So it'll be interesting to see what this looks like in person. I think this looks beautiful, but this is something I'm not gonna purchase. I don't need it, it's $65, so it's really expensive along with with, you know, most of the full-size Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes. And it just looks like a duplicate of things I already have. And for $65, like I just mentioned, I'd rather put my money towards something else. So it's gonna be a no for me, but I do think it's a beautiful palette. Does it have a place in her line? Yes, the shadows in here are much more subdued, a lot softer, more romantic kind of feelings, much more nude as the palette title suggests. But it's just not something that that I think I need in my collection. Let's talk about some brushes. So recently on Trend Mood's Instagram page, she posted that Wet n Wild is coming out with two, it looks like two different brush collections, one in gold, one in rose gold, and these look beautiful. I don't need any brushes right now. Um, I definitely don't need to be purchasing any because I've got quite a few right now that are fulfilling my needs, but I think these would be a great thing to buy for somebody. Personally, I love rose gold, so the rose gold really stuck out to me. I think this would be a really great gift for somebody. It looks like they're $30 for 10 brushes, so not outrageous. You get a combination of eyeshadow brushes and face brushes, so that's awesome. There's not much else to say about this. I'm personally not gonna buy it. I think this is a really great little gift set that you could buy for the holidays, a really good holiday release. The brushes look very luxurious. They look very beautiful. I think it was a smart release, just not something that I'm planning on picking up. Fenty Beauty recently announced, or maybe it's, I think they're available now, actually. They, oh, October 12th. What is today? Yeah, so these are released. These are, it looks like loose pigments. She came out with seven of them in a variety of shades. I love the shade selection on these. I think she did absolutely fantastic. The little jars that they come in look really cute. With that being said, I am not the biggest fan of loose pigments. It's just a hassle to work with. They're challenging. They look beautiful. Let's see, how much are they? Oh wait, do you have to buy all of them? The post is saying that for all of them, it's $99. And I can't tell if you have to buy all of them or you can just buy one. Well, okay, I went to the actual Fenty Beauty website and it looks like you have to buy the full set. So that doesn't seem like very smart marketing because I feel as though a lot less people are gonna buy this if they have to buy the full set. Like if I was interested in these, I'd probably be more interested in just picking up one, maybe two, but not all of them. So that doesn't sound like a very smart marketing 
tool for me but if it works if a lot of people end up picking it up cool and it just feels like there's so many face and eyeshadow palettes coming out right now and not a whole lot of anything else i think that's where i'm going to stop it today i'm sure that there's a lot more releases that i could be talking about a lot of things that i missed and probably a lot more releases that are coming our way if you like videos like this don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you are super interested in any of the things that i talked about let me know down in the comments below have you already picked up anything that i talked about or are there holiday releases that I didn't mention that you are super interested in picking up or have already picked up? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear what people pick up this time of year with all of the releases and new items that have been coming out. So let me know. If you liked this video, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content from me. All buttons are down below. And I think that's everything that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.